The Humane Society of Sedona is located on Shelby Drive in Sedona. Open daily from 10 to 4, they offer adoptable dogs, cats, and rabbits, too. This Humane Society will host up to 1,000 animals a year. Volunteers are always needed in local rescues and animal shelters. Ask to speak with the volunteer coordinator. Visit the Humane Society of Sedona online or in person for more information about adopting a new pet. Well, here we have our beautiful Belle, the Belle of the Ball. She is a three-year-old white female shepherd, and uh, she's got a lot of personality. She has lived with children, older children, as well as other dogs, and she is very affectionate. She also knows her own mind, as most shepherds do. Uh, she pulls a little bit on her harness, but she's not a bad walk at all. She, um, she really loves to play. She runs around and plays in our courtyard. And um, the only thing that we need to advise everybody is that she really can't be with livestock. She, she doesn't like livestock, meaning cows, horses, sheep, anything like that, um, or probably cats, but she's good with other dogs. And if you know anything about shepherds, they're very intelligent, they're very loyal. Uh, and she would make a great hiking dog because she's got a lot of energy, only three years old. She's got a lot of living to do yet. And she's just a very, very sweet girl who's just looking for a home with people that are really going to give her a lot of love and attention and play with her and take her for walks. And she could be great in a fenced-in backyard because she really does like to run around and play. So that could be an added benefit if that was something that you had. But she's just gorgeous, and she uh, she's just the right dog for the right person, and we really hope you come and check her out. Right, doobies? Yes? This beautiful fellow is named Thor. He has a fabulous name because he's a fabulous boy. He's a two-year-old lab mix who came to us on 926 as a surrender. He has lived in a home with kids and women and men, and he gets along fabulous with families. He also is great with female dogs. He was kenneled with another female dog for a while until she got adopted. But he doesn't like competition, so he's not good with other male dogs. He also probably would not be good with cats because he's very active. He's got a lot of energy. He's a great walk. He loves to walk. He'd be a great hiking dog because of his energy level. And his favorite pastime is to play ball. So he is like the energizer bunny with balls. You can throw balls. He'll bring them back. He'll drop them. You can tell him to go long, and he'll run out, and he'll catch them. So he's a, a great, great play dog uh, for a family that wants somebody with high energy and uh, a loving nature. Aren't you? Yes, you're a loving dog. And so we really hope you come and check him out because he really deserves to go to a great home. He's a super boy and one of our favorites here. So please come check out Thor. funky, handsome-looking boy is named Kuna. And Kuna, believe it or not, is about eight years old, and he is a standard poodle. He looks this way because a woman that was coming back to Sedona had found him in a ditch in Idaho, and he had dreadlocks and mats all over him. He's malnourished, and she brought him back, so we had to have him shaved. But when his hair grows back, he's going to be gorgeous. He's a very, very sweet boy. He knows obedience. He sits. He gives you his paw. He's a very easy walk. He's very playful in the courtyard. He loves to toss toys around. 
Um, but he's also, as you can see, very docile. He will, uh, he will be a, a good um, dog for anybody who knows poodles and wants to play, um, because eight is really not that old for a poodle. And uh, he, we just know that he doesn't like cats, because he was adopted, and unfortunately he went after the, his new owner's cat, so they had to bring him back. So no home with cats. But older children would be great, because he is playful. Um, adults. Uh, would be great. We really don't know that much about him, but since he's been here, and he's only been here since about the middle of December, uh, he would be uh, a great addition to someone's home to, to come and play with him. And he sits cross-eyed, don't you? Look at that. And he's affectionate. He gets kisses, don't you? Yes, you do. So please come check him out, because he needs to have a new start on his life, because he had a tough, tough situation going. So this is our Kuna. Right, baby? This lovely pup is named Leland. Leland is a youngster. He's only about a year and a half. He came to us originally back at the end of June and he got adopted by a family but was brought back because he was too much for them. So he is an energetic dog and he's going to require some training, but he's very young and he's very adaptable. Uh, and he's got a sweet personality. He really is just a big goofball that needs to have somebody that's going to give him some obedience training, a lot of love and attention, and a lot of exercise. Because he really does love it best when he's running around loose in a park or a courtyard. Um, so he'd either have to be run probably be a great hiking dog uh, or in a backyard running around chasing balls. Uh, he's, uh, he's really friendly, it seems, with other dogs. They would need to be introduced, but he seemed to want to play more with them than anything else because he is just a, a big oversized pup. So um, if you come check him out, he'd be a great family dog. Uh, as I said, a lot of obedience training needed because he hasn't had that up till now. But he's loving, aren't you? Yes, you are. And he would, uh, he'd make a great family dog. So please come check him out because he deserves to have a great home. He's got huge paws, although he's probably full grown right now at a year and a half. But those paws say it all, don't they, honey? Yes. <laughs> so this is Leland. So this cutie pie is named Bella, and she came to us at the end of January, January 30th, with two other older dogs. The owner, unfortunately, had passed away, and the family couldn't keep them. She's only about six months old. She's a hound, Rottweiler, probably a few other things mix, and she's a very, very sweet, sweet girl. She's, uh, as most puppies are, loving to play all the time, run around in the courtyard with us. She gets along with the other dogs that she came in with. And she is not going to be, I think, a big dog. If you look at the size of her paws at six months, you know, you would expect the breeds that she's got in her to be a little bit bigger, but she's very petite. And as you can see, she's kind of very mellow uh, for a puppy of six months. You know, she can, she can run around and play, but she also can be quiet. And she does love affection. Anytime somebody is with her, she will, uh, she'll spend a lot of time with you petting and licking and playing. We're w teaching her to walk on a leash. We don't think she's ever walked on a leash before. She's uh, a little bit all over the place, but she's getting better. And with training, she'd be just fine because she's very smart and she wants to please. So we're just hoping that somebody that's looking for a, an opportunity to train a dog and have them for a lot of years with a lot of love and affection will come and check her out because she is just adorable. And we've all fallen in love with you, haven't we, honey? So this is Bella. Say hi. Yeah.
After the break, we'll visit with more adoptable dogs and cats from the Adopt for Life Center for Animals. Your local Taco Bell invites you to Live Moss. There are now three varieties of Doritos Locos Tacos at Taco Bell. Nacho Cheese, Cool Ranch, and the new Fiery Doritos Locos Taco. Convenient hours, drive through and open late every night. Visit your local Taco Bell, located on the corner of Highway 89A and Cove Parkway in Cottonwood. Taco Bell, live moss. Uh, I actually work with special needs adults. One of my clients' mom is a Jackson Hewitt tax preparer. She said, you can get extra money for your expense for your driving. I got $3,000 back. I feel safe with Jackson Hewitt. Here we have one of our most exotic residents. Her name is Midge, and she's a one-year-old Mexican hairless. And if you know anything about the breed, they have absolutely no hair on them other than the little hair on the top of their head. And so we keep a coat on her most of the time when uh, she's in her kennel and always when she's out on our walk this time of year because in this temperature, they really have no protection. But she came in at the beginning of February. She's very, very sweet, very, very playful. We went on a walk yesterday with two other little dogs and all she wanted to do was play with them. And today she got introduced to Logan, one of our pugs, and they are now roommates. And so they were running around like crazy outside. So she's got a high energy level, is very affectionate, loves to sit in laps and just get a lot of attention. Uh, she probably would be good with other dogs if introduced. I mean, she's gotten along. There's only one dog she hasn't liked, but that dog was a little bit uh, hyper as well, So, uh, and it was a female. But she's gotten along with the other dogs, and uh, cats would probably get an earful from her, uh, so that may not be a good idea. Uh, but she would be good with older children, probably. She would be good with an older couple or, or with anyone who's really looking for this kind of a breed. It's, it is very unusual and very unique, but she's a very sweet girl, and being only a year old, she's got a lot of life in her yet. So she would love to go home and, and just sleep up on a bed and uh, have herself a, a good old gay time, wouldn't you, honey? So please come and check her out. She really is a, a very sweet, sweet young girl. Is our Dobbs. He's one of our favorites at the shelter. He's a he's a, a young, about a couple year old shepherd mix that came to us in June, and he's a very very sweet boy. He's potty trained, we think, because he doesn't go in his kennel. So he's one of the first dogs we get out on a walk every morning, and he's easy to walk. When you go into his kennel, he likes to talk to you. He gives you like a full sentence of of words that he has to say. Happy to see you in the morning. And he is uh, very playful. He loves to play in the park. He loves to play in the courtyard with balls. And he has gone to many of our adoption events. He's been close to being adopted a few times and, and has behaved extremely well with other dogs at off-sites and, and greeting people. So he's, uh, he's a great family dog. Uh, we haven't uh, seen, because he's a stray, we don't know, but we haven't seen any um, uh, bad behavior with other dogs or um, him trying to be nosy with our cats that he can see through the window in the courtyard so he probably could be okay with them. As a shepherd mix he probably would uh, would not be averse to being with other animals and cats and uh, he would just make a great family dog I think. He would love to go on hikes because he's got a lot of energy and he also would love to play in a yard and he uh, he just loves to get attention and he's just a a real sweet boy, aren't you, honey? So if you come and check him out, we could take you up to the park and show you what he can do up there, chasing his balls, and, uh, and you can get to know him and hopefully take him home and make him a great addition to your home. So please come check out Mr. Dobbs. Who we have 
have here is one of the shelter favorites. His name is Cash. He came to us in September as a stray. He's a three and a half year old Staffordshire Terrier and he is just a big, big goofball. He loves people. He gets along with other dogs. Uh, he has this female uh, Staffy that he plays with, Ember, all the time, and they just love each other. They even sleep together with their arms around each other. So he's very, very good with dogs, but he would not be good with cats. He was adopted by someone who had cats, and they learned very quickly that cats and him are not meant to be. So he was brought back. So he shouldn't be in a home with cats, but other dogs would work out fine. Children would work out fine. He's been child tested with pulling ears and tails and everything, and he has no reaction. Um, he just loves to play, loves to chase balls, loves to run around. Um, we laugh because when he's going back into his kennel, he makes it sound like a javelina pig almost. He's just, uh, he's just a real fun, fun dog to have and would give a lot of enjoyment to a family, I think, um, if you just come and check him out. Uh, he's a bit of a, of a puller on his walk. He can walk nice, but if you see something he wants, he wants to go for it, and he's, he's kind of strong, so we have him on a harness. But he is, uh, he's just a love. We just love playing with him, and, and uh, he's one of the favorites of the volunteers to walk every day because he's such a good boy. So please come check him out. <laughs> <laughs>
After the break, we'll visit with more adoptable dogs and cats from the Humane Society of Sedona. Your local Taco Bell invites you to Live Moss. There are now three varieties of Doritos Locos Tacos at Taco Bell. Nacho Cheese, Cool Ranch, and the new Fiery Doritos Locos Taco. Convenient hours, drive through and open late every night. Visit your local Taco Bell, located on the corner of Highway 89A and Cove Parkway in Cottonwood. Taco Bell, live moss. Hi, I'm Paul, proud owner of High Desert Pest and Weed Control, with a sincere thank you for voting as number one three years in a row. Congratulations, Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, High Desert Pest and Weed Control offer 100% guaranteed positive results. So if you're fed up dealing with spiders, scorpions, roaches, and other pests, rely on a company that's been serving Sedona and the Verde Valley since 1998. Call Mr. Paul at 639-4444. That's 639-4444. I keep a file where I have everything that's tax deductible, then when I bring it in, it's all right there. When you first retire, you want to go to someone that you really have confidence in and that you trust, and I trust Jackson Hewitt. I'm Terry Morgan, and I'm a real Jackson Hewitt customer. This is Samantha. She is a beautiful long hair, um, pale orange tabby. She and her brother came into the shelter because their folks moved away to Hawaii. And she and her brother thought it was a bit sad and so they've been a little bit despondent, but we've been trying to cheer them up. And she is around seven or eight years old, as, as is her brother Coco. And she's got a really, really gentle personality, considering she's such a large girl. She is really gentle, easy to handle. I think once she gets into a home environment, she will relax really, really quickly. Um, I think she's just used to living in a home and just wonders what she's doing here in a shelter. But um, I think that will pass off very, very quickly. I think she'll make a lovely, lovely family pet. And she's obviously lived with other kitties. This is Maciek. He, that's a Polish word. He is a Siamese kitty. He's seven years old. And he came from a very loving family, so he's gentle and sweet and well socialized, loving. He'll sit on your lap. He's just a very, very nice natured kitty. They were moving, so they gave him to us to rehome. He hasn't been with us very long. And he's got the most beautiful markings, really typical Siamese markings. And he probably would suit any sort of home because he came from a family. So, yeah, he's just a really great kitty. This is Luna. She's a black short-haired kitty and she is four years old. She's quite plump, she's been very, very well cared for um, and I think she'd sort, uh, suit any sort of ho home, not least because she's outgoing and she's very confident and yeah, I think she's just a great, great cat. Um, she's lived with other kitties so she's got a, a very adaptable personality I think. Ernie. He is 10 months old 
and he is just such a playful little boy. He just wants to get down and run around and he's friendly, he's very friendly, but he just wants to play. He's got quite a bit of energy, but he's not too, too energetic. And he's just a very sweet kitty. He's um, quite slim, actually. He's quite small for his age. And um, yeah, he was always small. So for a 10 month old, yeah, he's not, he's not very big. So he's gonna be quite a small kitty. Um, he would suit any sort of household. He's just, nothing bothers him. So he's just very, very friendly. He just wants to go off and play. That's what he wants to do. He doesn't want to be sat on my lap. So he's probably not much of a lap cat. After the break, we'll visit with more adoptable dogs and cats from the Humane Society of Sedona. When you first retire, you go from having the income coming in to being on fixed income. You're worried about keeping what you've got. And it's nice to know that I've got Jackson Hewitt to help take some of that worry off my shoulders. We know life can be time consuming, especially when you're running a business. You'd love to give more to your community, but you just can't find the time to do both. What if there was an easy way for you to run your business while giving back to your community? Would you do it? You can do both by enrolling in the new Payments in Kind Give Back Program from National Processing Solutions. What is the Payments in Kind Give Back Program? As an NPS merchant, NPS will give back 20% of their proceeds to any local charity or organization of your choice. The donation is in your name and is made at zero cost to you. To find out how, visit PaymentsInKind.com or call us at 888-696-7783. That's 888-696-7783. The Payments in Kind Give Back Program. Helping you help your community. Hi, I'm Paul, proud owner of High Desert Pest and Weed Control, with a sincere thank you for voting as number one three years in a row. Congratulations, Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, High Desert Pest and Weed Control offer 100% guaranteed positive results. So if you're fed up dealing with spiders, scorpions, roaches, and other pests, rely on a company that's been serving Sedona and the Verde Valley since 1998. Call Mr. Paul at 639-4444. That's 639-4444. This is Maddie. She is a four month old orange tabby, short haired, really sweet nature. Came straight to me, wanted to be picked up. It's obviously playful being a kitten. And she came over with some siblings. Uh, one was orange, another one was, I think, black and white. And um, yeah, they're all ready for um, adoption. And she's sweet, they're lovely natured. She's very, very sweet. So she'll suit any sort of home. And she's a pretty girl. Look at that gorgeous little face. Look over there, show your sweet little face. It's very pretty. Yes, it is. He is one of a few kitties that came to us, all siblings, that we gave the black as the first name. So there was black tie and black ice and other black kitties. So they all had some black in them. But this one is black and white and he's a very, very sweet, very cute. A little bit skittish, so probably a quiet home would, do, would be best. Um, but he'll very quickly, like any kitten, be able to play. And as he gets older, I'm sure that he will be 
um, very relaxed and mellow. He's four months old and he's ready for adoption now. This is Tillman. He loves to be petted and he's a very sweet boy. He's only one year old, so he's actually quite big. He um, hasn't long left his kitten stage, so he's probably very playful. He's black and it's likely that he gets along well with other kitties. He came as a stray, so we're not exactly sure of his background, but I think he'd be pretty adaptable to any sort of background any sort of household simply because he's just so very young and he's a little bit frightened at first but he warms up very quickly he's actually quite relaxed now and when he does meow oh boy he has got a very very big voice aren't you yeah oh and he's purring now he's a very contented little boy aren't you fancy that gone from wailing to purring in just a few minutes Kitty's name is Moon. He's black, he's soft, he was found as a stray wandering, but he's a sweet, gentle little guy and he would probably suit any sort of home. He's very mellow, so I think he must have been loved in his, in his past and got lost somewhere and then ended up here with us. Uh, he's five years old and yeah, he's ready for adoption now. We haven't had him very long. He's very silky, very soft. After the break, we'll visit with the Adopt for Life Center for Animals. Verde Veterinary Hospital in Cottonwood is your full-service companion animal hospital and has achieved AAHA accreditation, reflecting total commitment to provide quality veterinary care throughout the life of your pet. Verde Vet provides comprehensive medical, surgical, and dental care and offers 24-hour emergency service and house calls. Heartworm testing, feline viral testing, and nail testing all available without an appointment. Verde Veterinary Hospital. Hey, it's your girl Jillian with a big offer called Switch and Save. Switch to Jackson Hewitt from any competitor and save $50 off your tax prep fees from last year. How cool is that? Check out the details on jacksonhewitt.com. Your local Taco Bell invites you to Live Moss. There are now three varieties of Doritos Locos Tacos at Taco Bell. Nacho Cheese, Cool Ranch, and the new Fiery Doritos Locos Taco. Convenient hours, drive through and open late every night. Visit your local Taco Bell, located on the corner of Highway 89A and Cove Parkway in Cottonwood. Taco Bell, Live Moss. The Adopt for Life Center for Animals is located on Mingus Avenue in Cottonwood, open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 to 3. They offer many adoptable dogs and cats. Volunteers are always needed in local rescues and animal shelters. Ask to speak with the volunteer coordinator. Visit the Adopt for Life Center for Animals online or in person for more information about adopting a new pet. This beautiful little girl is Madison. Madison's a two-year-old 
We're calling her a retriever. We don't really know. She probably has some retriever in her. But what she's really got in her is tons and tons of energy. This girl can go, 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 and that's what she wants to do. So, I would suggest, if you're interested in this wonderful girl, that you have a fenced yard where she can get out and get lots of activity. Because if you just try to keep her in the house, I can pretty much guarantee you, you'll be bringing her back real quick because she'll drive you nuts. She just needs to go. She's got a, a need to run. She's very good on her walks. She'll pull just a little bit. Um, and that's just when she gets excited. She'll take off and she'll have her two legs up in the front legs up in the air and she's pulling you like a sled dog. Um, fortunately, she's not a sled dog, so it's not really hard on you. It's pretty easy. She's kind of small. Um, but anyway, that's, that's probably, if there's anything wrong with her, that's it. She's just very, very highly active. She just likes to go, go, go. She'd be wonderful with kids. She gets along pretty well with most other dogs. She's just a sweetheart, and if you can just tolerate and the activity level and uh, keep her happy because she's getting lots of exercise, I think she'd just be a perfect dog for just about anyone. Likes to give kisses, treat motivated, she'll eat your treats, so that's good for training purposes because she's going to need a little bit of training. I don't think she had much coming in and we don't have a whole lot of time to spend. We have so many of these guys to take care of, so we do a little bit with her, but she's really a good girl. So again, it's Madison, kind of a retriever mix, about two years old and uh, she'd be a wonderful family pet. This is Charlie. Charlie is a two-year-old black lab mix, pretty much uh, pure black lab, I would think, because there's personality-wise, temperament-wise, activity-wise. I mean, he replicates a purebred black lab as close as you can possibly do it. Gets along real well. He's very friendly with people. Gets along with the other dogs pretty good. Um, high activity level. He loves his walks. He loves his human attention and pets. Um, he's a smart dog, uh, a little bit strong-willed but I think he'd make a perfect animal for any family. Would you? Yeah, you would, yeah. So um, I would suggest, that, you know, a home in the fenced yard. He's, um, like I say, he's active and he really likes to go for his walks. He's excellent on walks. Hardly pulls at all. Um, I'm not altogether sure, but I would almost guess he's housebroken too because when we take him out, um, he's pretty anxious to do his business out there and I don't ever see much, in it, much of anything in his cage. So as long as he's getting out, I think you could probably be well on your way to housebreaking him if he's not already housebroken. So all in all, he's an excellent dog. Um, be a real good choice for anyone that's looking for a good companion or someone the kids can play with and enjoy and just fit right into a family environment. And that's our buddy Charlie. beautiful guy is Zilly. Zilly is our most senior resident here. He's been here for 13 months, which is way, way too long for an animal to be in this environment. So we really need to find him a home and we need to find him a home quickly. Zilly is a two or three year old golden retriever mix of some sort. He's highly active, needs lots of exercise, but he's an absolute love bug. I love this guy. We've been together so long that we have a real special relationship and uh, I really need to find him somebody that can share the love that he has to give. Zilly is a, a very active fellow so he would do best in a, a family that you know likes to hike or get out and, and be active themselves and can take him with them. Um, he does not do very well with little kids so if you have children, they'd have to be kind of older. He is not fond of cats whatsoever, and he doesn't do real well with other dogs either. So 
best combination for them would probably be, you know, a home with a, you know, a young couple or a middle-aged couple, someone that's, you know, active lifestyle, doesn't have any children, or if the chil they do have children, the children are older. Um, and again, no pets, no other pets in the home would be the best suggestion for him. Um, he will, with his energy level, he really needs to exercise a lot. So I would really suggest a, a, a fenced yard, a home with a fenced yard. Um, the fence should probably be a, a higher fence because he's fully capable of, uh, he's so big he could probably get over a smaller fence if he desired to do that. Hopefully he would like his house so much he wouldn't want to do that. You'd like your people, wouldn't you? Yeah. And, um, and all, all around, he's just a wonderful, wonderful guy. He's so friendly with people. Um, I kind of have to, because he's so big and crazy sometimes, I have to kind of manhandle him to get a leash and stuff on him. And he never, ever shows any aggression whatsoever. So that's really a positive thing. And he just make a wonderful companion. Um, he, he'll bond with you and... Um, just, you know, increase your happiness, I'm sure. And that's my good buddy, Zilly. Okay, this beautiful guy is Checkers. Checkers came to us, he was kind of a young guy, he's grown up a little bit, and he also had a little bit of a problem. He had a leg issue going on, and when he stands up for you here, you'll notice that Checkers is missing one of his rear legs. So he's what they call a tripod. But don't let that concern you because that doesn't slow this guy down at all. In fact, I probably shouldn't tell you this story, but I will because it's just interesting to give you an idea how competent he is. We did have checkers adopted out to a family. They had a four-foot fence, and they thought that they were doing real good, except checkers had no problem whatsoever getting over the four-foot fence. So the loss of his one leg doesn't slow this guy down one bit. And as you see, he is a friendly just active, got a beautiful disposition to him. He's a beautiful dog altogether himself, too. He's probably a, got some pit bull in him, but you'd never know it by his disposition because he's just so friendly. Just a friendly guy and just so nice, loves people. See somebody coming by his cage, his tails, his wagon at 100 miles an hour, and he's standing there with those big eyes just looking at you saying, come take me, come take me. So we're here today to tell you to come take him. This guy is a great animal, and as I said, three legs it means nothing to this guy. It's just, the way he gets around is just phenomenal. I mean, if you ever had a question about how a dog with three legs would do, this guy would be the poster child for it. Um, he gets along with everybody. He's not aggressive toward other animals that we have seen. Um, I'm not so sure about cats, because we don't really mix them with cats so much, but. He doesn't get worked up at all about around other dogs. He just he just wants to play. He's just full of life and full of love. And the only thing that's missing is a permanent home for him. So and he's been here for six months now. So it's time we get him adopted and get him into a good home. He'd do great with children. Uh, that's no problem whatsoever. Um, and even though, as I say, he's got three legs, he still needs lots of exercise because he's full of energy. So. This is my buddy Checkers. Yeah, he's my good buddy, and he can be your good buddy too if you just take him home. Right? Yeah. Okay. Tell him. We're telling him. All right, that's Checkers. Okay, this girl here is a two-year-old, one to two-year-old pit bull mix, and her name is Purdy. Purdy is a beautiful brindle, round-eyed girl, a couple of little white markings on her. Uh, <laughs> kind of choking on her treat right now. She's very treat motivated, and that's 
what we're seeing going on right here. Oh, Purdy. Anyway, Purdy's a good girl, loves her humans, loves to give kisses, loves to jump up on you, loves to bang into you. Um, she's very friendly, um, not too bad with other dogs, but I think you'd have to be very, very slow in doing an introduction. Quite honestly, I think, you know, she'd probably be better off being the only animal in the home. But, you know, given time, if you had another pet and you really liked her and you wanted to give her a home, I think if you just took your time with them and introduced them, I think she's very capable of becoming friends with another animal. Um, it's not the best choice, but if you know, it meant her getting adopted, I think it'd be worth a try. She is going to have to have a yard. You're probably not going to have enough energy to burn her out or get rid of the energy she has. So she's going to have to have a yard where she can run and get rid of some of the high intensity that she's got in her. Um, I wouldn't recommend small kids, again, just because, not because of her temperament, um, just because she's so crazy. She, you know, she'll see them and she'll want to go see them and she'll just run and bang right into them and knock them over probably. So I don't think that's a good idea for her right now. But other than that, she's just a beautiful girl. Big kiss. Can I have a kiss, Purdy? Hey, can I have a kiss? Thank you for kisses. Yeah. Anyway, that's my girl, Purdy. Two-year-old, Brindle female pit mix. This girl here is Star. Star is a one-year-old, maybe a little older than one, one and a half, maybe. Um, she's some sort of a terrier pit mix. I don't know, she, you know, it looks like she's got some pit in her, but, you know, she's just, you know, I, I wouldn't go so far as to say she's a pit. I think she's more of a terrier mix of some sort, but I don't want to deceive people either, so there might be some pit in her. She's a really good girl, highly active. One of her problems, she's been here for a while now, about, probably about three months, and I think one of the reasons she doesn't get adopted is not because of her personality, because she's got a great personality. I just think it's her activity level. She's just so crazy in the cage that people look at her and they kind of get scared away and say, oh, I don't think I want her. She's too, too wild for me. But as you see, she's not all that wild. She's really a pretty good girl uh, once you get her out of the cage. She pulls a little bit on her leash, um, can use a little bit of work there. But all in all, I mean, she's a friendly girl. Um, likes to give kisses, and all of a sudden she's decided there's something down there she wants. <laughs> Come here. Turn around. Camera's over here. There you go. So um, a family would work for her. I think she'd be good with kids, but it's going to have to be an active family. If she had a fenced-in yard where she could burn off some of her energy, that would make things even better. I think once you get rid of the energy level, um, She's really a sweet girl, and she'd be, you know, wonderful as a family pet. But you got to get the exercise in there because she. This is a dog that will not be happy being confined and not having a lot of room to run or a lot of time out with her family or friends or whatever. So, if you're going to think about her, if you're an active family, I think it'll work. If you're looking for a, a couch potato dog, this is not your animal here. Anyway, again, her name is Star. One year old, maybe a little older, kind of a terrier pit mix, very friendly girl, needs a home pretty bad. She's been here about three or four months now, and we really need to find a home for her. So that's Star. This is Fringe. Fringe is a two to three year old pit bull, Staffordshire Terrier mix. Weighs in at somewhere between 80 and 100 pounds probably. One of the most powerful dogs you're ever going to experience. You're going to have to have somebody that can control him. And I go 250 pounds and I have a struggle with him. So that gives you any barometer on what we're talking about here. The good thing for all of us is he is just a love bug. Can I have kisses? 
I want to kiss. Give me a kiss. Thank you for kisses. So he loves human beings, does not like other dogs, does not like cats. Going to have to be the only pet in the home. He demands all of your attention. Doesn't want to share with anybody. Uh, highly active. I'd like to tell you he's easy to take for walks, but he's not. He likes to pull a lot, and you know he'll let up a little bit as you go along. But you know your first couple hundred yards is going to be an experience with him. Um, but he's well behaved. I mean, other than the fact he just wants to do his his thing when he goes on walks, it's not his fault. We just don't walk fast enough. That's our, that's the only problem. He's got his own pace in mind, and uh, we just don't keep up with it. So, but he's really a good guy. And he'll have a lot of fun with them. He'll bond with you. As you see, he's very, very friendly toward people. He loves everybody he meets. He'd probably be great with kids, too, if he wouldn't knock them over. That's the only concern I'd have for that. But he's just a wonderful, wonderful guy. He's only been with us a couple months, but with his size and strength, he's going to be hard to place. So if you think you have any interest in him whatsoever, I'd get in here and take a look at him, because we don't want to keep him around long. He's the type of an animal that really needs to get out and get some exercise and get into a good home where people can love him and he can love them back. And that's from my buddy Fringe. guy here is Rimrock. Rimrock, we have him listed as a lab mix. I'm thinking he's got some flat coat retriever in him. He's got a beautiful, beautiful brown hue to him. So I mean he's black but he's got a little bit of brown in him. Just simply a beautiful dog. I think once he's cleaned up a little bit he's going to kind of glisten for you. But he's really, really smart too. This is one of the smartest dogs I've encountered over here. He just He's, you know, he's intuitive, he sees things, he kind of knows what to do. He, you know, when you get to a gate or something, he knows exactly where the gate opens. And he's just really, really smart, very, very with it kind of an animal. He would make a perfect family pet. He is loving and very gentle, easygoing. He has a high activity level, but not so high that he's going to be kind of a pain for you. He's just, he just kind of likes to get out and get around and move. Um, he'd probably be a good hunting dog if someone wanted to train him as a bird dog or something. But um, there's just nothing wrong with this guy. He's wonderful on his walks. His temperament is terrific. Gets along with everybody. Kind of indifferent toward other dogs. I mean, I'm sure he'd get along with them, but he just kind of likes to go about his own business. I think he's kind of looking at him going, hmm, I know more than you do, so I'm just going to go ahead and do what I want to do. That's just kind of the personality this guy has. He just... I don't know what I can say about him other than he's just pretty near a perfect animal. He's just a great guy to have around. So if you have a fence yard, I'm sure he'd like that because he, you know, he does have some activity. He'd like to get around and check out the world around him, you know, see what he can learn about the neighborhood and everything. So, but real good guy. I think he'd be a perfect pet for just about anybody. And this is my buddy Rimrock. <laughs> beautiful guy is Colby. Colby's about a two and a half, three year old. We're calling him a hound shepherd mix. I don't know what he is. He's, he's very, very different. His, um, if you look at his eyes, he's got a blue tint around his eyes. But his eyes are kind of green and brown and just a very, very interesting color. And his fur is just absolutely soft as can be. So I don't know what he is, but I do know how he is. And that's perfect. He's a great guy. I love him. Everybody loves him. He loves everybody. He's great on his walks. His demeanor is relatively laid back, not a real excitable guy. Um, he would do pretty well in any environment that I can think of. 
You know, he doesn't have a lot of requirements in terms of lots of exercise, although, you know, having a nice yard would be good. I'm sure he'd appreciate that. But he's the kind of a guy that as long as you take him for some walks, um, give him lots of attention, I think he's just going to be wonderful for, for any circumstance or situations. Um, again, I, I just can't think of... Uh, any other great qualities he has, he's got a bunch, that's for sure. And uh, as you see, he's very, very easy going. A little bit timid maybe, but other than that, wonderful dog. And this is our buddy Colby. This guy here is named Buddy, and I can't think of a no, more appropriate name for him because this is the kind of dog that you're going to take home, and he will by far be your best ever buddy. He just loves people, loves to cuddle up with you, loves to walk right next to you, just wants to be with you and feel warm and secure and loved. And he just wants to give that love right back to you. He's about nine months old, perfect for training. Not that he's going to need a lot of training because he's just so laid back and easy going the way it is right now. When you take him for his walks, he walks right next to you. I don't even think you need a leash with him because he doesn't really act like he wants to take off and go on you. And yet he loves to play, he get toys, and he'll play with toys with you gets along with other dogs. We let him loose in the yard there with other dogs and he runs and plays like crazy. But when he's not playing, he's just very, very easy going and calm. Yeah, yeah. He's, um, yeah, kind of a little bit of medium size. I think he'd like to have a yard. I don't know that he needs to have a yard, but he does need attention. So I would say that he's probably one of those that you don't want to you know, take off and leave him alone for long periods of time. Not that he's going to cause any problems for you, but just because I don't think that's in his nature. He just likes to be with his humans. So I would feel best if he found a home where there was someone home all the time that could take care of him, give him attention and stuff. Let him know that you're there and that you're thinking of him and loving him just like he's going to love you back. So all in all, that's him. He's pretty much the perfect package here, I think. And his name is Buddy, and he will be your buddy, won't you? After the break, we'll visit with more adoptable dogs and cats from the Adopt for Life Center for Animals. Verde Veterinary Hospital in Cottonwood is your full-service companion animal hospital and has achieved AAHA accreditation, reflecting total commitment to provide quality veterinary care throughout the life of your pet. Verde Vet provides comprehensive medical, surgical, and dental care and offers 24-hour emergency service and house calls. Heartworm testing, feline viral testing, and nail testing, all available without an appointment. Verde Veterinary Hospital. Hi, I'm Paul, proud owner of High Desert Pest and Weed Control, with a sincere thank you for voting as number one three years in a row. Congratulations, Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, High Desert Pest and Weed Control offer 100% guaranteed positive results. So if you're fed up dealing with spiders, scorpions, roaches, and other pests, rely on a company that's been serving Sedona and the Verde Valley since 1998. Call Mr. Paul at 639-4444. That's 639-4444. This is Ice. She's a 
about a year, year and a half old female. Very beautiful. Very friendly. Um, she came to us as a stray. She gets along pretty good with other cats. She doesn't like dogs much. Um, she likes to be a lap cat. She's quite playful. And again, look at the camera. This is Ice, about a year, year and a half old female. And she would make a fine addition to anyone's home. <coughs> charm a long-haired black cat she's about one year old she's still very timid she would do great in a single pet household um, she's very loving she loves to sit on your lap she of course is quite curious and again charm a long-haired black female one year old looking for her forever home <laughs> unfortunate encounter somewhere along the line and lost most of his tail, but none of his attitude. He loves to play, he likes other cats, and as you can see, he hasn't missed too many meals. Again, Batman, about a three-year-old male, very playful, likes other cats, and would make a fine addition to anyone's home. <laughs> tabby gorgeous young lady she likes to play she has a great purr box she likes other cats and she would be a great addition to anyone's home and again one more time look at the camera <laughs> this is noodles three-year-old female orange tabby <laughs> All animals leaving the Adopt for Life Center for Animals are given rabies vaccinations that are spayed or neutered. If the animal is not old enough, vouchers will be given to the adopted family. Visit the Adopt for Life Center for Animals on Mingus Avenue in Cottonwood to visit with any of the animals seen on this program. More pets are waiting for new homes at the Adopt for Life Center for Animals.